Well, good morning and welcome to Tales for Tots from the Rhyme Free Reading Room. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day for your mommy. I had one too. So here we go. Should we start? Ah, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Well, it looks like a lot of people are going somewhere on this bus. Do you see this red bus? This red bus has an upstairs and a downstairs, like some of our houses. Look at that. And they can fit more people in that bus. And we call them a double-decker. A double decker? I'm sure there's another name for them, but I call them a double decker. So here we go. You know the bus song. It has wheels? Come on. Do it with me. The wheels of the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels of the bus go round and round all through the town. And the doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut. Open and shut, the doors on the bus go open and shut <gasps> all through the town. And the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the town. And the lights on the bus go blink, 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 blink. Blink, 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 the lights on the bus go blink, 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 all through the town. And the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. And the people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down all through the town and the baby on the bus goes wah 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 the baby on the bus goes wah 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 all through the town and the mama on the bus goes <laughs> the mama on the bus goes <laughs> all through the town yeah there's a little froggy well, well, it's kind of a gray day today, but you know the sun is shining somewhere, right? And what is this? This is a little bird. He has an orange belly and he has a blue top and that's the daddy bluebird. And here's a song I love. <laughs> zippity doo dah, zippity a. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine head my way. Play zippity doo dah, zippity a. Oh, Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. It's the truth, it's actual. Everything is satisfactual. Zippity doo dah, zippity a. Wonderful feeling, wonderful day. Yes, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day to be with mommy and daddy and have a good time together. Absolutely. Well, before we have our first book, I have a tip for the parents. Now this is Wizzy Wizard. And we have a tip of the week, parents. When you're playing pretend play with your children, introduce new words to their vocabulary um, pertaining to the play. Um, words that are introduced during context really are more uh, effective uh, in, in, in being incorporated into the language. Well, there we go. Thank you very much, Wizzy. The first book I have is by Eric Carl, and it's from head, where's your head? To toe, find your toe. From head to toe. What does this mean? There, the little boy showing you where his head and toe is. I am a penguin and I can turn my head. 
Can you do it? Oh, I can do it. Can you do that? Hmm? I am a giraffe and I can bend my neck. Can you do that? I can do that. I am a buffalo and I can hunch my shoulders. Can you do that? I can do that. I am a seal and I can clap my hands. Can you do that? I can do that. This is the way the seal does it. Come on, let's hear your claps. I don't hear any claps out there. I am a gorilla and I can thump my chest. Can you do that? I can do that. That little boy doing that too, huh? Ah, uh, the gorilla loves to thump his chest and make that noise. I am a cat and I can arch my back. Can you do that? Oh, I have a hard time doing it. Whoa, I can do it. Ha, ah, I am a crocodile and I can wiggle my hips. Can you do that? I can do it. I'll probably fall off the chair, I better watch out. I am a camel and I bend my knees. Can you do that? Oh, I can do that. There I go, I'm gonna bend my knee. Show mommy how do you bend your knee. Can you kneel on the floor and then get up? Hmm? I am a donkey and I kick my heels. Can you do that? I can do it. You see what the little boy's doing? He's standing on his hands and kicking out with his legs. Can you do that? Let's see. I am an elephant and I can stomp my feet. Oh my goodness me. Well, there's no one living under you. Why don't you try stomping your feet? Oh boy. Can you do that? I can do it. I am me. And I can wiggle my toes. Oh, you can't see them, but I can. And what does the parrot say? I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Sure, he's wiggling his toes. By Eric Carl from Head to Toe. <clears throat> well, look who just woke up. My goodness me. Oh, Froggy. Hello, Froggy. Did you have a bath the other day, huh? I think you did, huh? Sure. Ya gung went the little bullfrog one day. Ya gung went the little bullfrog. Ya gung went the little bullfrog one day. And his eyes went yunk, yunk, yunk. Can you do that? Can you blink? Here we go. Ya gung went the little bullfrog one day. Ya gung went the little bullfrog. Ya gung went the little bullfrog one day. And his eyes went yunk, yunk, yunk. <laughs> oh, how silly. <clears throat> well, here's another frog. And he went to sleep. <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> he went to policeman school and he learned how to be a good policeman to help people. And here he is, Hector Protector. Hector Protector dressed all in green. Hector Protector was sent to the queen. The queen did not like him. Oh. Nor did the king. So Hector Protector was sent back again. Oh, well, I think you did a good job. They're, they're very silly people. Yes. Hector Protector dressed all in green. Hector Protector was sent to the queen. The queen did not like him. 
nor to the king. Oh! So Hector Protector went home again. Well, that's okay. We have a better job for you. Yes. It even has, it even has a, a benefits. Yes. <clears throat> oh, look who's here. Oh, my very favorite friend. I have a little hen, the prettiest you'd ever seen. She washes up my dishes and keeps my house clean. She goes to the miller to grind me some flour and is always home within the hour. She bakes me my bread, she brews me my ale, then sits by my fire and tells a fine tale. Yes, she loves to tell stories. Do you like to hear stories? Here we go. I have a little hen, the prettiest you'd ever seen. She washes up my dishes and keeps my house clean. She goes to the miller to grind me some flour and is always home within the hour. She'll bake me my bread and brew me my ale and sit by my fire and tell a fine tale. Oh my goodness, what wonderful stories. Wonderful stories. Well, my second book is Feathers for Lunch by Lois Alert. Look at that cat. Oh, cats love to chase birds and eat them. Yes, they do. And, th and that's why we, we put a little bell on the cats that go outside. But around here, most of us don't. Now, what, what is all this up here? Those are feathers. And birds have feathers to keep them warm. Do, <clears throat> do squirrels have feathers? No, they don't. They have, they have, <clears throat> they have fur, yeah, like a cat. Now look who's peeking out the window. And what does he see? But another little bird, ah. Feathers for lunch. Uh-oh, doors left open. <clears throat> Just a crack. Uh-oh. My cat is out. He won't come back. He's looking for lunch. Something new. What does he see? What does he see there? He sees a robin. A robin pulling a worm up. His food in a can. Oops, whoops, whoops. A spicy treat for today's menu. And what is that? That's a blue jay. Jay, jay, jay. His food in a can is tame and mild. So he's gone out for something wild. He's snooping and sneaking. And what is that woodpecker doing? Pecking on the wood, yeah. He's saying, watch out, the cat's here. <clears throat> he's snooping and sneaking. Those birds sure look ye good. Yum, yum, yum. If he could catch one, he'd eat it, he would. But when his, his bell jingles, birds give a loud warning. <laughs> ah, big cat got out this morning. Those morning doves there call, making sure everybody knows that cat is around. Watch out. But cats can't fly. <laughs> and they can't soar. And birds know what their wings are for. Look at that little hummingbird. He is fast. So he keeps prowling, 
hoping to munch. <laughs> I caught you. I got you, kitty. But all he catches are feathers for lunch. Oh my goodness me. I got him. He's coming back inside where he belongs. And look at all those birds that are in our backyard. Feathers for Lunch by Lois Alert. Well, look what we have here, another bird. This bird is a duck. He loves the water, right? Right, he swims in the water. He finds his food in the water, right? This is a poem by Jack Prolutsky that I've sort of put into a little bit of a song. Here we go. I'm a yellow-billed duck with a black feathered back and I waddle, 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 and I quack, quack, quack. I dabble for my dinner with a swish, swish, swish. Yeah, upside down in the water. And I gobble, 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 all I wish, wish, wish. Yeah, here we go. They go upside down and they collect all the little um, uh, uh, plankton and what have you that they feed on. That's how they eat, upside down in the water. I'm a yellow billed duck with a black feathered back and I waddle, waddle, waddle and I quack, quack, quack. I dabble for my dinner with a swish, swish, swish. And I gobble, 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 all I wish, wish, wish. Yeah. Quack, 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 quack. <clears throat> well, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? Oh, with silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Look at all those pretty flowers. She works very hard. How does she keep it looking so nicely? Well, I tell you what, she weeds, she takes the weeds out, she waters it, she feeds it, and she probably sings to it too. What do you think? <laughs> Here we go. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. <clears throat> Well, what is coming? What is coming out of my hair? What is this? It's a little turtle. It's a little turtle. I have a little turtle that I keep in a box. It swims in the water and it climbs on the rocks. It snapped at a mosquito and it snapped at a flea. It snapped at a minnow and it snapped at me. Ooh. It caught the mosquito and it caught the flea. It caught the minnow, but it didn't catch me. Can you do that with me? Come on. I have a little turtle that I keep in the box. It swims in the water and it climbs on the rocks. It snapped at a mosquito and it snapped at a flea. It snapped at a minnow and it snapped at me. It caught the mosquito and it caught the flea. It caught the minnow, but it didn't catch me. No. Anyway, turtle doesn't belong in a box. He belongs out there. This looks like more like a water turtle. Yeah, I think he is. Tortoise. Tortoises live on the land, but he looks like a water turtle. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, we have a book that you all know. We all love. Good night, moon. Good night, moon. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of what? A cow jumping over the moon. There it is. And three little bears sitting on chairs. There they are. and two little kittens and a pair of mittens. And a little toy house and a young mouse. 
Let's see if you can find the mouse. Can you find the mouse? And a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush. And a little old lady whispering, hush. She's rocking back and forth, trying to get her bunny to sleep. Good night, moon. Ah, sorry. Good night, room. And there's, here, let's, let's do this so you can see the whole picture. Good night, moon. Good night, cow, jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. That's the cow and the bears. Good night, kittens. And good night, mittens. Good night, clocks, and good night, socks. Always getting later and later. Looks like it's getting a little darker, don't you think? Good night, house. Good night, mouse. You see the mouse? He's tiny, isn't he? Good night, comb, and good night, brush. Good night, nobody. And good night, mush. That's his cereal. That's his cereal. And good night to the old lady whispering hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Oh, look how dark it is. Good night, noises everywhere. Good night, moon. And that's by Margaret Weiss Brown. Well, before we say goodbye, I know that you can't pop my bubbles, but you could pretend by jumping up and down. What do you think? Here we go. You ready to do some jumping? Ask mommy if it's okay first. Well, come on, bubbles. Ah. It's all leaked out. Ah. Well, let's, 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 let's do that another day. I'm sorry. <laughs> It, it, it all leaked out on me. So anyway, blow, blow, blow some bubbles, do the bubble hop. Jump so high until they pop. Now it's time to stop. Can you pretend? We're still going to pretend. Blow, blow, blow some bubbles, do the bubble hop. Jump so high until they pop. Now it's time to stop. Right. One little, two little, three little bubbles, four little, five little, six little bubbles, seven little, eight little, nine little bubbles, ten little bubbles go pop, pop, pop. Yeah. I think now we have a little wee little Winky. And let's see what he's going to do. Ah, now it's night, right? Isn't that what Good Night Moon was all about? Nighttime. And who is this? This is. Wee little Winky. There he is. He is right here running through town. Can you see him? Hmm? Wee little Winky runs through the town. Upstairs, downstairs, broop, broop, in his nightgown. <gasps> Rapping on the windows. 
calling through the locks. Are the children all in bed? Or now it's eight o'clock. Well, so probably some of us are getting up now. What do you think, huh? Or going, maybe you're going to have a nap? Are you going to have a nap this morning? Wee little Winky runs through the town. Upstairs, downstairs in his nightgown. Rapping on the windows, calling through the locks. Are the children all in bed? For now it's eight o'clock. Well, I think it's time for our bye-bye song. Bye-bye to Mr. Bluebird. And bye-bye to Froggy too. And bye-bye to my beautiful little hen. It's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye to Granny Jean. And bye-bye to all my friends. And I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye. Zippity do zippity a wonderful feeling, wonderful day.